hello guys welcome to today's tutorial so in today's tutorial I'm, we are going to look into poisonous animals i know you are familiar with this topic so poisonous animal for for the first um for the first instance of hearing poisonous animal you know poison simply means a fluid or a chemical mixture that can affect human body system and body function very very good so guys the first animal okay the poisonous animals include snakes lizards scorpions and spiders so that is the first thing i'm going to write here guys please pick up a, a book and a pen and a pen Start writing this down as well. If you want to understand this topic very well, guys. Scorpion and the last but not the least is spider. Okay, I'm going to and spider spiders. Okay, guys, very very good. So I hope you have write this this intro. Write it, please. So the number one animal we're going to talk about today is snake snake all snakes belong to the class reptilia so all snakes snakes belong to the class reptilia So guys, all snakes belong to the class Reptilia and I'm going to have a full stop here. So most of the snakes, sorry, most of the species of snakes are non-poisonous and few are poisonous. So basically, snakes is divided into another two category, poisonous snakes and non-poisonous snakes. I hope you understand guys. Very, very good. Please concentrate on this tutorial. Do not be distracted in order for you not to miss any part of this tutorial. So poisonous. So guys, snakes are divided into non-poisonous and poisonous. I hope you have write this down. Very good. So the poisonous snakes generally live in the forest area. General body of the snakes is long, slender, and covered with epidermal scales of various sizes. So, guys, the long snake. Okay, sorry. The snake is a long. Okay, sorry. Um, long slender. And covered. With epidermal scale. Scales. Of various sizes. very very good guys so of various sizes the head is small mouth is wide with 
a ex expansible and slender beef, beef tongue, which is tentacle and olfactory, olfactory too. That is why they say uh, the snakes was it's trying to sense a prey. It sends its prey from a very far distance by bringing its tongue out, flipping it in the air, and it gets this sensation of its prey. And it will be ready to attack the prey as soon as it gets closer to the prey. I hope you understand this concept, guys. Very, very good. So, now I will move to the next part. Eyelids are fused and non-motive with no nictating membrane. I hope you understand nictating membrane. Okay, let me write that now with a black pen. Nictating membrane is the membrane covering the eyes of an animal, which allows them to have perfect vision under the water. So basically, the snakes that are found in inside the water have a little bit nictating membrane, but nictating membrane is seen mostly in frog, toads, and all other kinds of aquatic animals. I hope you understand that concept, guys. Very, very good. Nictating membrane. Take note. The snakes replace the outer epidermal skin by shedding the white transparent membrane called molten, during which it survives from temporary blindness. So guys, motil, molten, sorry, molten, it is the process whereby the snake, let's say, um, it shed its skin, it shed its skin. The skin of snakes that you find, whether in the forest or very nearby your area, molten, molten or ecdysis. So, the reason why they do that is for them to develop a new set of skin, a very, very new different set of skin. This occurs in various stages. For example, uh, a snake that is just ashing its egg, they do molting. A snake that is leaving a geographical area to another area, they engage in this molting as well. And for some other reasons, the snakes also go through molting because of growth as well. Once they keep growing, once they their size keep increasing, they keep molting. I hope you understand the concept of molting now, guys. Very, very good. I will proceed to the next stage. So, by the way, they suffer temporary blindness. So, I'm going to indicate it here, blindness. This blindness they occurs for few, just few days, guys. Just few days. They suffer from temporary blindness for a few days. So, now I will move to the next stage here. The snake has no ear or any earring apparatus. I hope you understand that concept, guys. So, I'm going to indicate it here. No earring apparatus is seen in the snake or in a snake. Earring apparatus, like human beings, just you and I, we are able to hear with our two ears. No earring apparatus is seen in snakes. So take note of this, guys. No earring apparatus is seen in snakes. Very, very good. Let me proceed. Keep following, guys. Pay attention, full attention. Ear in apparatus like eardrum or external ears, ETC, it's absent. But it can get sensation of vibration through the epiderm epidermal scales present on the belly region. So I'm going to add an star ear. So it gets sensation. The snakes, I mean the snakes, it gets sensation. 
The reason why I'm using red black pen in this aspect is I want you guys to take note of this 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 things I'm saying right now. It it gets oh sorry. I'm sorry about this guys. It gets sensation of vibration through the epidermal scales present in on the belly region or you can call it abdominal region you could call it anyone you wish to call it guys on the belly region first stop so the poisonous snakes are cobras vipers pit vipers black mambas green mambas uh bows long and okay bows long and uh some other mangrove forest snakes like um that's all for today but as soon as possible in future i will get a list of over 100 snakes probably that could be my my next video actually so for you guys to know the name of many snakes in order for you to pass your exam regarding poisonous animals specifically snakes then i will make a video tomorrow or today also saying the or uh, list sorry list of snake types so guys just the list that i have here today i'm going to share it with you all number one cobra which we also refers to as king cobra the big one that's, you know, you know how it stands like this exactly. So those snakes are extremely poisonous and they are very, very fast in, they have a very fast reflex, which, which makes them almost impossible.